might send you ahead of time some, some files, some notes. I remember to attach them and hope I, I remember to attach this one onto your notes. So you've got this in your email that you can fill in this problem in your notes so that we can just take our time and talk through it uh, without all, all of us uh, trying to write it so uh, fast, okay? All right, so you, you can be writing down this problem if you want to, or it's in your notes. I mean, it's, it's on your email that I sent last night. So look at it, download it, print it out, or do it by hand. Uh, but anyway, if you want to solve for the internal loads for a 2D problem, uh, first, maybe, so see what I did at first here? I looked at the whole free body diagram to solve for FB, right? I looked at the whole free body diagram to solve for FB. Uh, and I only needed one equation, that's some of the moments about A. Uh, so I some moments about A, have to be able to handle the distributed loads, have to be able to handle these angles. You know, should this be cosine 30 or sine 30? Um, and I solve for FB, then I cut it. And so unless I specify otherwise, I always want you to cut it like this, perpendicular to the longer axial direction. But here, I, I do specify, hey, cut it through BB. Listen up, guys. All right, cut it through right there. And so when you cut it through here, do you see how that N is pointed straight down? Because it is, it is perpendicular to the cut, normal. Right, it is normal to the cut. Uh, B is right there. I kind of turn my head and kind of memorize N, B, and M. And then M would almost create a smiley face. Let me bring my uh, pool noodle from the closet. Maybe I'll do that. Um, <clears throat> all right. And so because I had already solved for everything else, N, V, and M were my three unknowns. Right? N, V, and M were my three unknowns. So I solved for N, V, and M right there. I think I'm going to get that pool noodle. Uh, so y'all look at that one. Uh, notice for 2D problem, if your X comes out negative, let's leave it negative. Because we're all using the positive sign convention. And so that negative means something. Um, it's not, it doesn't mean the negative direction. It just means it's not in the positive sign convention. So that means N would be compression. B, you know, this would be negative instead of this being positive. And, and M, a positive M is like a Look at that.